I was like, I just, I just need to do this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys what I am packing for Europe. I have never traveled abroad in my entire life and there are so many things that I didn't realize I needed. But about a year ago, I saw that there was a tour to Europe that was through the college I was going to at the time and I was like, I, I just have to go. So the tour is through EF Tours. They do a whole bunch of programs. They do EF Ultimate Break. They do EF Study Abroad. You can go for like 60 days or you can go for like 10 days, which is what I'm doing. And the prices aren't even bad. So I was like, I've just got to do this. I just got to take this trip with a tour group because if I plan it myself, things would not go well. They do like giveaways, they do a ton of different stuff. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. I think you can order a brochure with more information. They'll send it to you for free. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description. Anyways, the tour I'm going on goes to London, Paris, Florence, and Rome. So I'm going to, I'm gonna be all around that place. That's another thing about the tours is that you'll hit every spot, but I will have more information on this after I get back, obviously, and I'm sure you guys are gonna see a ton of stuff that I'm gonna post. So for me personally, I'm not checking a bag because I know people have issues sometimes when they travel abroad of losing their checked luggage, and I don't really wanna do that. I'm gonna bring a carry-on and a personal item. But I got a new backpack, which I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the backpack I got. It's just black. They have a ton of different colors. I got this on Amazon. It's supposed to be like the perfect dimensions of a personal item on most flights. So you'll have to check what airlines you're going on. But this bag is crazy. It is kind of weird because it like folds out. You can fit so much stuff in here. And if you're wondering what this is, it's kind of weird, but you can put shoes in the bottom because this unzips. So you can put your shoes in there. This pocket on the outside is waterproof. I compare this to like the other backpack that I just like used for school and stuff. And like this one fits, this one fits so much more stuff. You can plug your power bank into the inside and then plug it in from the outside so that you don't have to like dig around in there so that's nice too and then i also got this oh i guess i got some bags in there i will say a lot of the airlines have different measurements for things so you might want to check that let me just talk about some necessities real quick i did buy a new straightener <laughs> I got a new straightener because the voltage is different in European countries. So I had to buy a new straightener with dual voltage. I just got this one, it's called Wavy Talk. I got this because I don't wanna blow something up while I'm traveling. Cause odds are the entire city is gonna lose power and it's all because of me. Gotta get your toiletries. I got mini versions of everything. These bottles, these are nice because they can be really thin. Like the pouches, I had like a hard shell thing and I was like, I feel like these would take up less space and they do. So and I got some like makeup items, whatever, moisturizer, toothpaste, all that crap. This is the small like plastic bag. I'm putting this in my personal item. And taking it out, I hate that. Like, does anyone else hate that you have to do that? I got this um, bag to carry the rest of my toiletries. And then also, I got this on Amazon. This is a little pill container. It's actually like, it's so small. Like, it's like the size of my hand. Very small, very compact. I probably will throw that in here or somewhere else in my personal item. So I'm putting my toiletries in there. I'm putting like my liquids in here and then a journal because I want to like write stuff down that we do every day. So that would be a good idea to bring. And how about this? Power bank. Do not forget a power bank that is very much needed. I got my AirPods too. I'm gonna be putting them in here. I am bringing a smaller camera. So I have my main camera and then I actually got a new smaller camera to take pictures and to take videos. So I got this smaller camera to bring. So this will be good. It's more compact so I can just throw it in my bag. I'm also bringing neck pillow. Also, do not forget one of these. This is a converter. So, I... 
is not really making sense to me. Very important. Otherwise, I would be having some issues. Another thing that is very much needed is this. The flight I'm gonna be on is like 10 hours straight through the night. So I got this earplugs. I got my neck rest. Also to add to that, I got plenty of snacks. I got like trail mix. I don't know if these are good, but I got blueberry muffin protein bar. It sounds kind of scary, but maybe it's good. Energy bar. It's also probably good to have throughout the day because we're gonna be walking and traveling a lot. I don't know if you would wanna just throw one in your bag or something, but look at these. Is that so cute? These are freaking tiny. Got it. It's a tiny Mento container. There's literally 10 pieces in here, but I'm a big gum girl. I always like to have my gum. So I got two of those. Another thing, tissues. I'm bringing tissues in my bag. Chapstick, don't forget your chapstick. I'm bringing both a raincoat and an umbrella because I'm gonna freaking need that crap in London. If you're going to London, I guess it rains a lot there, so you're gonna need an umbrella. <laughs> so definitely bring an umbrella if you're going to... L if you're going to London, definitely bring an umbrella. And I'm bringing a raincoat too, like I said. I'm bringing these. I'm also bringing these. I think... I'm gonna need them. Rome actually gets like scorching, I'm pretty sure. So, gonna be a little bit screwed there. I'm also bringing like shout wipes, lens wipes, and face and body wipes just to like have them if needed. And you can always buy stuff there if you have to. I'm not bringing hand sanitizer because I don't want to add it into my, my liquids bag. So I'm bringing these instead of hand sanitizer. Also bringing this bag because when you are walking around Europe, you probably don't want to bring a backpack. Like, you just don't want stuff stolen. I'm bringing this little bag that I can wear on my chest like a fanny. Right here, so no one can steal it. That's actually a lot of space. I'm gonna carry like my camera in there. I'm gonna carry like my gum, my tissues, whatever I need. My phone, my wallet. I also got a new credit card for this because you want to make sure your credit card can actually be used in those places. So I'm bringing an extra bag. <laughs> I guess it seems like I'm bringing a lot of bags. I'm also bringing like this little cloth bag for the EF tours or probably for any tour. Um, you're like on and off buses and stuff. So I'm like, if I don't have time to shove everything in both of my bags, like I might need another bag to throw stuff in there. So as for clothes, I'm only bringing two pairs of shoes. I'm bringing my Tevas and I'm bringing my brown Converse, which I got in my Christmas haul. So if you want to check out that video, it's it'll be up top. <laughs> and swimsuit. Depends what you're planning on doing in Europe, but I am bringing a swimsuit just in case. I don't think we're supposed to be anywhere where we would be swimming, but I'm bringing it just in case because you never know. I would be upset if people started swimming somewhere and I was like, I don't have a swimsuit. I guess I would just rip all my clothes off. Um, I have a bunch of outfits that are sitting, waiting for me to put them in my suitcase. I did get some new clothes for this trip, so I'll put some pictures. Here are some of my outfits. And let's try to get some in my suitcase. I have not tried to fit things in my suitcase yet. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see how this goes. One, two, three. Oh gosh. Okay, how many is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is, this is 10 outfits in here. Okay, wait a second. If I am just packing my clothes in here, it fits completely fine. It's a little hefty, but. The temperatures are gonna be so weird for me because it's like London's gonna be like 60 degrees and then Rome's gonna be like 80. So those are completely like different outfits. Like, so I don't know how that's gonna work, but I'm gonna do my best. I might also bring like a book to read in the airport, but I'm not sure yet. If I have space, I probably will. I'm gonna bring like a water bottle too, probably. 
uh, to just throw in my bag. But yeah, I think that's gonna wrap this up because I basically went through almost everything that I'm bringing. Again, I'll leave a link down below to the EF tours where you can sign up and get a free brochure with more information. I will also leave a link to that backpack because I think that's gonna actually be so nice to use. But thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below and give this video a big thumbs up. And I guess I'll see you guys in Europe. <laughs>but I'll leave a description or what what am I saying I'll leave a description I said it again I need a drink <laughs>